Hi dears, welcome to mathematics class. Our topic is proof of a to the power of m all to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m n or m times n for all values of m and n. First state, when n be a positive whole number, in this case, we have a to the power of m all to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m plus a to the power of m plus a to the power of m plus a to the power of m all uh, like infinite times n times. So the result is a to the power of m times n means n times. Second state, second state, when n be a positive fractional number, n be a positive fractional number, in this case we have n is equal to p over q, means this is a, n should be a fraction. p and q are positive whole numbers, so we write a to the power of m instead of n we can write the, the, the fractional number that's p over q that's equal to a to the power of m because p, p is the, the numerator we can write this as a, as a power as a, or as an exponent a to the power of m all to the power of p and the uh, denominator we can write as a root Q root of the Q, the root of the Q, and this is equal to, we can write here a to the power of m times p, that from here a to the power of mn is equal to a to the power of mn, here also a to the power of m times p is equal to a to the power of mp under the root of Q, and if you remove the root, we the Q coming to the power of Q coming to the uh, numerator, it means that it is equal to A to the power of MP over Q. Or we can write this one A because you are uh, in the multiplication situation, we can write this one M, A to the power of M times P over Q. And that's equal to A to the power of M. And what is P over Q? P over Q, over Q is equal to N. A to the power of M N. I repeat for you. For proof of A to the power of M all to the power of N is equal to A to the power of M N for all values of M and N. First state when N be a positive whole number. In this case we have a to the power of m all to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m plus a to the power of m plus a to the power of m n times that's equal to a to the power of m n second state when n be a positive fractional number in this case we have instead of a n we have n is equal to p over q that's a fraction P and Q are positive whole numbers, so we can write that A to the power of M instead of P over Q, we, uh, N we can write P over Q, that's equal to A to the power of M to all to the power of P under the root of Q, and that's equal to A to the power of MP, like this, A to the power of MN, is equal to mn, here also a to the power of mp under the root of q, and that's equal to a to the power of mp over q. We remove the root sign where the, uh, the root power or exponent come to numerator, and that's equal to a to the power of m times p over q, and it's equal to a to the power of m instead of p over q, you can write p over n is equal to p over q or p over q is equal to n a to the power of m n uh, 
third state when n be a negative number either fraction or whole number in this case n is equal to negative p or minus p for n to be negative p must be positive in this case one of this should be positive or if the n is negative p should be must be positive or if the p is positive the n must be negative must be positive. We write a to the power of m all to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m and instead of the n you can write negative p or minus p that is equal to, we can write this one, uh, if some uh, number we have the power of negative number, we make it inverse, it means that this 1 over m, a to the power of m, all to the power of p. To make the uh, negative power positive, we should bring this one, if this is in the numerator, we know that the denominator of the any number is 1, so we will bring this uh, to the denominator. If this is the positive, negative sign in the numerator, we bring it to the denominator. And that's equal to 1 over a, uh, we know that a to the power m to the power of p is equal to a to the power of m all to the power of p is equal to a to the power of mp. That's equal to 1 over a to the power of m instead of p, we can write negative n. And that's equal to, we can write this one, m times minus n is equal to minus mn. 1 over a to the power of minus mn. Because the power of this is negative mn, we should bring it to the uh, numerator. It is equal to a to the power of positive mn over 1. Any number that uh, is, uh, its denominator is 1, we can write itself. a to the power of m n. I repeat for you, third state, when n be a negative number, either fraction or whole number, in this case n is equal to negative p. For n to be negative, p must be positive. We write a to the power of m all to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m all to the power of in the state of m negative p and that's equal to 1 over a to the power of m to the power of positive p that is equal to 1 over a to the power of m times p mp and is equal to 1 over a to the power of m in the state of p negative n because P is negative is equal to negative n or n is equal to negative p. And that's equal to 1 over a m times minus n is equal to minus mn. That is equal to a to we bring it back to in order to be, become positive to the numerator a to the power of mn over 1 and because the one is the denominator, denominator of this is one, we can remove this one and uh, we write a to the power of m n. Thank you for watching our video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video with your family and friends. And please press the notification bell to get notified for more videos. Have a great and wonderful days and nights. Bye-bye.